Alright, what is up guys? It's your boy Will, back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. Now, I'll make the video short. I know you guys want to enjoy your weekend. Just letting you guys know, it'll be about three videos today, just to kind of help you out a little bit more. So in this video, we will be talking about one stock that can start to rocket on Tuesday, and I'll start giving you my buying level. So remember, the market is closed Monday. OK, so this level I'll be looking at on Tuesday, buying level, support level and resistance level. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, turn your post notifications so you don't miss any updates. And don't forget to use code will have off to get 50 50 percent off the stock market options crash course that does end Monday. And also, whenever you sign up for the buy and sell signals, make sure you use code O will A P T C. OK, a code is necessary now, so make sure you use O will aptc all capitalized so the the one stock we'll be talking about today is antelope enterprise holdings okay ticker symbol a e h l ticker symbol a e h l so the stock had a little rise recently has some rundown okay now the resistance level that you kind of want to watch out for is around like 320 ish so we'll put that on there first. That's kind of a level that I'm watching right now for some resistance to come in the market. And this will also be an exit target as well. Okay. Now the buying level I'm looking at is 285 and lower. Okay. So around that 285 mark, I'll be looking for that buying pressure to come in the market on Tuesday. And if we do get that buying pressure around that level, I think that will be a good entry to see an exit around that 320. Looking for about a 12% scalp play. Okay. But when price comes down, you want to see that buying pressure kind of come in that market. OK, but if it comes up on Tuesday, then what I would do is I'll wait for it to come to this resistance level. And then once it comes to this resistance level, I'll wait for that pullback. And within that pullback, we might have another buying level in here that we can enter off of. And if we do enter off that pullback, then I'll be looking to exit around 350. OK, so say we get a pullback to like 310 ish kind of range in it. To 350, that's about a 12% scalp. Okay, so about the same percentage scalp plays, just different reasoning on how to play it. Okay, so just a quick recap: if it goes up, wait for some resistance right here, pull back, enter on that pullback, exit around 350. Or if it comes down, look for that buying pressure around 285 and exit around 320. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, I'll be posting about two more videos, and always remember another recommendation to buy or sell anything that's for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.